Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to paint our Llama Love. We are all going to paint together today. We're going to go step by step and brush by brush. But even though we're all going to kind of stay on the same step, you can make those steps any different colors that you like. Speaking of colors, let's take a look at all the ones we have. So, on our little empty plate there, I got those little cups and I scooped out some colors over here. So we have black white, blue, and a tealy green or green color. We have a dark yellow, kind of a nice reddish brown color, pink and brown. We'll also need our brushes. We'll need kind of a larger brush, a medium brush, and a smaller brush. We will also need a little cup of water to wash off our brushes and a paper towel to dry off our brushes. And lastly, but maybe most importantly, um, your canvas came wrapped in some paper. That paper we can put underneath our canvas so that when we're painting on the table or a surface, we don't get anything else painting. So we are gonna start with our sky color. So big space needs a big brush. So I'm gonna find my biggest brush that I have and I'm gonna find my water cup. I'm gonna give it a little dip in the water, get things flowing. Let's tap on the paper so it's not all drippy. I'm gonna make mine kind of like this. But as we go along, I'll give you some different color options that you could also mix and show you maybe on little spots on mine too. So on this one, I have a beautiful daytime sky. We're gonna put some little poofy clouds, some grass in a little bit, but I'm gonna start out with my light blue. So on my little palette of paint, I'm gonna get a good scoop of white off to the side and a little bit of blue and I'm gonna mix, mix, mix in a little pile to get a color that you like. Yours can have a little bit more white or a little bit more blue, mixing up a nice daytime sky. So I'm going to kind of decide where my grass is gonna be, or maybe like these little bushes over here. So I'm gonna make mine kind of by the neck I'll give a little wavy line around there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna fill in everything above that line. Nice long brush strokes, smooth at your paint. Spread that paint around. I want it to soak into all that canvas. No white pieces peeking through. I wanna cover it all up. Keep grabbing more paint. I'm gonna take it a little slower around these little edges. Take it nice and slow. And as we go along, if you need to pause at any spot to take your time to go a little slower around a certain spot, pause it and then come right on back whenever you're ready. I'm gonna fill in all of our background all of our sky background part. Now, if at any point it's getting like a little scratchy, it's not flowing as much as you'd like, or maybe you have a little, little scratchiness, it's kind of not soaking into the canvas, you can get a little bit, just a little bit, of water on your brush. Tap off that extra. And that helps kind of, oh, watch out for those drippies, I got mine. And that kind of helps soak it in and get all those little pieces of white peeking through. I'm going to fill in all the rest.
get too far into mine, um, quick alternative, if you wanted to do a different color sky, you could also do a nighttime sky. So you could use that same blue. I'm gonna wash off my brush. You can use that same blue and you can mix the tiniest bit, the tiniest bit of black paint into that blue and you can get a nice night tiny blue. Get mostly blue, a little bit of black at a time to get a color that you like. Nice night timey. It's a pretty color. We could put some stars in the sky instead of clouds maybe. I might do mine half and half. Shoop. I'm gonna mix it right in into my light blue. It's kind of a cool color that it makes too. Why not happy accents? I'm gonna fill in all my sky. And if you want to do a different time of day, you could even do a sunset -y sky. We have some pink, some yellow, some whites. You can make a really pretty sunset -y sky too. But I'm gonna do mine either daytime or nighttime maybe. While I have this color on my brush, whichever that might be, I'm also going to paint all my side edges. So whichever color is touching a side, I'm gonna wrap it around and paint that little side edge to match. It's kind of like framing it without having to frame it. Get that little top edge. I'll do the same with the light. sky dry for a little while. Um, once it's dry, we'll come back and add some clouds or maybe some stars. Um, and we're going to add in this little part of our background next. So these are kind of like bushy shapes, kind of like grassy shapes. Um, I'm going to keep using my big brush, which means I washed it off and I dried it off really, really well. And this color is going to be kind of this dark green that I have. Just by itself this time. Don't even need to mix. And we're gonna fill in all this little shape. This color is a little bit more of a kind of a thinner color. Like you see through it, you see those brush strokes a lot more, which I think is a really cool kind of characteristic of this paint because we can see those brush strokes a little bit more. That means we can add a little texture. So if you have kind of round bushy shapes, maybe, maybe we have little curves in there or swirl, some swirling the brush is cool texture too. Or if I want kind of pokier grass, instead of a flat brush, Turn it, use the thin part, and sweep up, 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 up. And you can go past into your sky and put a little kind of pokey grass texture in there, which can be really pretty and really cool. So that's a little different than that one. That's kind of rounder shapes. Move that. And that kind of paint buildup is really nice too, where it's like a little thick and gives you those little lines. It's kind of a nice thing on that too. We're gonna paint the little side edge to edges to match. Now this one we made a little bit darker in the corner, so for that. 
I'm gonna grab just a little bit of that kind of reddish brownish color and add a little of that reddish brownish color to the grass and that makes kind of a little shadow at the bottom a little darker a little lighter on the top a little darker on the bottom sunlight shining down so it's a little lighter on the top a little darker on the bottom like that we're going to just do the same on this side now if um, you have a darker sky we may want to do a little bit different of a color here let's see how that looks so this is the color just by itself it's kind of nice if you want it a little lighter though so you have a little bit more contrast you can do a little bit of white into that tealy green color gives you kind of like a a little bit lighter version. A little bit more. I just want to be able to see it against my sky is all. Yeah, you can kind of see that. And then you can do some little crossing lines. The darker your sky, maybe the, the lighter you want to go. And I can always add more colors on top of this one. Just let it dry a little bit if you want to add more color. And put some little grassy texture in there because I like that. I like what we did on that other side. It's really pretty. We can do rounder shapes like this one. Rounder shapes. Get that little side edge. Get that bottom edge. Okay, let this one dry and add a little of that one on there. Give it a little pop. Okay, we're gonna let that dry now. Okay, so again, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna come over here to our llama color. And we're gonna add, add that main llama color. So this one is gonna be kind of a tan color. Um, that one's gonna be a good amount of white paint and a little at a time of that dark yellow. But if you want different colors, you could do a light brown, white and brown. Um, this kind of reddish brownish color with some white is also a really pretty color. White and that color. But if you wanted a totally different color, like we have a little bit of purple. I forgot to put a little purple on there earlier. I have some there. Purple llama. That might be neat too. So whatever you like. But I'm going to show you on this one. So I'm going to get a good scoop of white. And I'm going to put this over here next to my dark yellow. And I'm going to do little mixes so I get a nice kind of light tan that I like. I still have my big brush. I washed it off and I dried it off really well. I'm looking for kind of like a light tan. And this color I'm gonna fill in all my llama. I'm gonna go around the nose. Around the nose. If you need to use your smaller brush at any point, go for it. This big brush is just gonna be a little softer. And kind of smooth that paint a little bit better. The other ones are nice for little details, but sometimes they can be a little scratchy sometimes. I'm going to go over the mouth, over the chin. We'll still be able to see that line underneath. Just make sure you smooth out your paint so you can still see it a little bit. We'll put it back later with some more color. I'm going to fill in the ears. Take it nice and slow in those little points.
Okay, so we are going to let that dry for a little while. And while we're letting that dry just a bit, I'm going to actually go back to my sky. Um, I want it to be kind of dry, so it doesn't have to be all the, all the way. You can tell if it's still really wet, if it's really shiny in the light. Like my nighttime side is a little wet still, but my daytime sky is kind of dried. So you can kind of see one side shiny, one side's dry. Um, you may want to let it dry a little bit more if it's really shiny. Let's pause a sec. Give a little time we'll come right on back um i'm gonna add on some clouds on this side and i'll do some stars over here maybe make a moon that would be cool um so i'm gonna add on um these clouds i'm gonna find a smaller brush so either the medium brush or smallest brush i'm gonna use my medium brush and i'm gonna start out with white i don't need much paint on my brush at all i'm just gonna use a little bit is all i need so i'm gonna scratch it Kind of paint the side of my plate like barely any barely any because i want these to be really scratchy really fluffy and i'm going to show you a little closer up so wherever you want to make a cloud i'm going to take that paint i just have a little bit and i'm going to do scratchy little circles scratchy little circles grab a little bit as you go along little as needed. I like to make mine a little bigger in the middle, a little taller in the middle, and then thinner on the edges. You kind of trail off on the edges. The less paint, the floofier, the fluffier they will be. But little circles, little circles. Really scratchy. Not much paint. Another way you can add these is with your finger. So you can get a little bit of paint on your finger also. And you can do kind of the same motion, scratchy little circles. And that's a fun way too. Rub it in. I like this way a lot because I feel like I can kind of like control it a little bit more with my finger. And it's fun. You can put as many or as few clouds as you like. On this one, I put clouds all the way down um, to the tops of the grass, but if you really like the tops of your grass, how they are, don't have to go that low, don't have to cover them. But if you want to, you can kind of have little clouds just floating on top of your grass. Just watch out if your grass is still a little wet. Let it dry a bit more. We would do these first, leave those last. Give a little extra time. As many as you want. Uh, for the stars, you can use any of these brushes because we're going to turn it around and use the back handle, the wooden part. So I'm going to dip into some white paint and I'm going to press and lift book, and dot on some stars. Put that here so you can see. So I'm just pressing and lifting to add on little stars in my sky for a nighttime sky. If you want. You can add as many or as few as you want. You can do different colors. Stars kind of twinkle different colors. You could do some yellow. Those are nice. Especially with that blue. You can also do pink. Pink would be pretty. Oh, those are cool. If you want. But don't have to. You can keep them white or the yellow. And then on my clouds, if you want to, don't have to, have to, I'm going to add that little bit of purple that we have. So that's going to be that nice bright purple. I forgot to put it on my plate earlier, but now I have it. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna use that same brush, so either your medium brush or your finger brush. And I'm gonna get a little bit, a little bit of purple. And I'm gonna put this on the bottoms of the clouds. On the bottoms of the clouds. Because kind of like how um, we thought about our grass, we have sunshine shining on the top and a little more shadow on the bottom. 
So I'm going to start at the bottom of my clouds, kind of rub it in. Not much paint at all, just a tiny bit. At the bottoms, and then work it up into that cloud, less and less as you get a little higher. And if your purple kind of takes over your cloud a little bit more than you'd like, you can always go back to your white. Start on top of your cloud and go down into that purple. And it kind of blends them together, softens that purple a little bit more if you need. You can do the same with your little brush. Again, just at the bottom. Work your way up. As little or as much as you like. And then speaking of finger painting tricks, if you have a nighttime sky, we could also add a moon into our sky. So that is going to be with our finger brush over here. Um, there's gonna be two steps to a moon. The first step is the glow behind the moon and then the moon. So let's start with the glow. I'm gonna take my finger barely any paint just the tiniest bit we want this part the glowy part to be really thin really see-through really scratchy so i have barely any it's like a thin little coat i'm gonna decide where i want my moon i'm gonna paint mine right there you can just go over any stars you have there that's okay i'm gonna press wiggle in a circle until you get a size where you can put a moon inside of it. I'll bring that a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. So that's kind of what it looks like now. If you need to make it bigger, you can get a little bit more, but always start in the middle and work your way out. But I don't mind colors getting in there. It's kind of cool looking. Happy accidents. And then for the moon part, I am going to get a lot of white on my finger this time. There we go. A lot of white. And right in the middle, I'm going to press, wiggle, until I get my moon size that I'd like. And left. And we have a little moon glowing in our sky. Isn't that cool? We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna go back to our little llama friend. So our background, our sky is looking beautiful. Um, while we are in our finger painting mode, we are going to add on those little cheeks. Now if you don't want to add the cheeks, totally don't have to, but if you do, I'm gonna show you how. So again, barely any paint on your finger. I'm going to get the tiniest, tiniest bit of pink, just barely any, kind of even scratch off a little extra on the side, just to make sure. You can always add more. I'm going to kind of find this little nostril and go to the side, right about there is where I'm going to add the cheek. Press, give it a really scratchy little rub, and lift. We have cute little cheeks, find that nostril off to the side and lift and leave them alone. Nice, so we have some cute little cheeks. Um, we are going to switch brushes to the smallest brush you have, this little guy. Um, and we're gonna go in for like a big round of white paint. We're gonna put this on a lot of the edges. We're gonna make some cool little fluffy bits all in here. Um, so we'll need some white and our small brush. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white. Now a little trick to make this brush a little pointier is if you kind of twist and drag, twist and drag in your paint, that makes that point just a little pointier and helps with those small little lines. Now my little vomit is very fluffy, so it's okay if those lines are a little fluffy. So as I go along, 
Shoop. You can go off, wiggle, wiggle, swoop. Keep loading up that brush. Whenever it looks a little scratchy, need a little bit more. You can follow the edge like a little wiggle line. Doesn't have to be super, super straight. You can add some little fluffies. My grass is still a little wet. Let's watch out for that. Can add some little fluffies. However you like. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So we have a little fuzzy neck. We're going to keep using that same brush. We're going to keep using some more white. And I'm going to follow this line of the chin. That's the chin. Okay. Now, the side of the face, I'm going to go a little bit more solid because they have a shorter fur on the face. So I'm going to take it slow. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just keeping it right at the very pointy part of the brush. I'm going to go under that little eye. Going on the other side too. Under the eye. I will start getting fuzzier. I get to the top. So wherever you see these little wiggle lines, we'll need fuzziness. So I'm gonna follow the top. You can add some little swoops, swoops, little furry hairs. Wah, wah, wah. And if you don't want to make it that far, you totally don't have to. Your llama can have whatever hairdo you like. It can be as fuzzy or as smooth, long hair, short hair, however you like. Whatever you think your little llama friend would have. For fun. Make some little fluffs on there. Make some fluffs on my eyebrows. And then my last little places, I'm going to add a little bit of white on the edges, like the outside edges of the ears. We'll do the top edge a different color, but on the outside part, and I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can see this a little better. I'll show you this one first. So, the little lines, the little fluffs, they don't go straight out, right? They go up, they go up, 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 up up almost pointing straight to the top so instead of we're not going to go out 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 we're gonna go up 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 so let's try it out so on our little friend we're not gonna go out we're gonna go up 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 it's gonna run out of paint make sure you're grabbing more paint as you go Closer again on this side. So I have my little floofs going up. On this side, we're gonna go up. Kind of overlapping them almost. Whenever it gets a little scratchy like that, get a little bit more. Get a little bit more. And be more solid. We're gonna add some more colors on that in just a little bit. I'm going to do a similar thing on the little neck because that's a really fuzzy part. So right in the center, a little bit more in the middle than on the sides, we're gonna start right in here. Same brush, still white paint, just need a little bit at a time. And so on kind of the center of the neck, we're gonna start in here. I'm gonna make like little, little swooshes out. And make a little furry texture. These can be a little bit more wild. Okay, 
starting to build the little lines. They're gonna be like little, little clusters of little fluffy neck. And go pointy on the edges. They can kind of go little curly lines, like little U-shapes or C-shapes in the middle. And we're gonna add some more colors on this in just a little bit. Let's let that dry for a little while. Um, while we're letting that dry just a little bit, let's go over here to our little notes and fill that in next. I'm gonna keep using my small brush, so I washed it off and I dried it off. Um, now this color is going to be a little of this reddish brownish color, a little of that brown. Mix it together. But again, you can have whatever color nose you like. If you want a pink nose, if you want a purple nose. The only thing I suggest is if we're gonna make the nostrils black here in a sec, we wanna choose a different color for the nose, just so we can see them. Um, but any other color, then we can do the nostrils black here in just a sec. So I'm gonna do that brown and then the reddish brown and I'm going to fill in all of my nose. I'm going around the nostrils and leaving them blank for now. Take it nice and slow. Take your time. Smooth out that paint. I don't have much paint on my brush at all. I just had a little bit. little goes a long way because it's such a small space. And then I am going to add on those nostrils. So don't even have to wash off your brush. I'm going to get a little bit, just a little bit of black paint. A little bit. And I'm going to fill in those little nostrils. Like that. And then we're gonna do a little tricky thing here. So once you have those things filled in, we are going to wash off our brush and dry off our brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of brown just by itself. So that brown just by itself. And if you notice it's a little darker at the bottom, a little darker at the bottom on the sides there a little bit, that's what we're going to do just to soften and kind of combine those nostrils a little bit better with that nose. So I have brown on my brush. I'm going to start right here, like where this nostril ends, kind of encouraging a little of that black paint to get onto this brush. And I'm going to go up the side up the side like that then wash off your brush wash off your brush dry off your brush I got a little bit of my nose color back on my brush a little of my nose color back on my brush and if you have any like funky lines you want to soften I'm just gonna go in with that nose color and soften any lines to blend. That's all we need. It's a little softer now. Nice. So by this time, um, the little white paint has dried a little bit more and is ready for a little bit more color. So I'm going to add on um, this kind of tan color right here. A tan color. Um, same brush, smallest brush you have. I washed off and I dried off my brush. I'm gonna go in with this dark yellow and just by itself. Just by itself. 
If you want to darken it a little bit though, you can add a little bit of uh, brown to it. Or a little of that reddish to it, if you wanted. And we're gonna go over here to the top of our head and make those little, um, little wispy furry bits. So, right in the middle, I'm gonna start adding on like little hairs. I'm gonna have a little bit wider at the top and a little thinner, so it kind of goes down in like almost a triangle shape. Towards the bottom. Like that, maybe a little wider on the top. Just doing little wiggly lines, a little at a time. You can do some longer ones at the top because this is a little fuzzy head. I got a little blue, but that's okay. I kind of like that. I know. So a little fuzzy head. While I have that color on that brush, I'm going to get a little bit more of that same color, same brush. And we're going to add a little bit to the little neck part. So just like you did um, with the white, we're going to add some more. So how much you like to add on there. Don't have to add as much of this as we added with the white. But if you really like this color, you can add more. That's okay. Put some pokey ones on the side. there maybe cool. so we are continuing our furriness um, I washed off my brush I dried off my brush and I'm gonna do a couple little steps with that um, dark reddish color so I'm gonna put that on tops of the ears and then I'm gonna put it kind of on the edge of the neck just a little bit there's not much if you want and at any point like if there's any of these parts you don't want to add totally don't have to whatever ones you like so I have my brush I'm gonna get a little bit of that reddish brownish just by itself I'm gonna find the top of my ear and I'm gonna give it a little trace so I'm gonna find the top of my ear and I'm gonna go over that little sharpie line and whoop at the top it's like a little lift of pressure whoop, at the top, so it's a little pointy. So I'm pressing a little harder to start, and then I'm lift, 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 lifting the pressure as I go up, up to the top. The little tops of the ears. And then at the bottom here, I'm just going to add those little extra fluffy bits. And those are going to be mostly on the side, so I'm going to go swoop, swoop, swoop. If your white paint is still a little wet, that's kind of a good thing. Like I kind of want that to happen. If a little of that white paint still a little wet, that's good. You can even do that on purpose. Add a little of this color. And then, don't even have to wash, just grab a little bit of white. And kind of do that on, on purpose. If it feels like a little dark, if you want a little softer that maybe so you can always go back you can always go back to color and add more so I'm gonna add a little of this reddish and then if you want a little softer you can grab a little bit of white don't have to wash a little white to kind of mix it a little floofs on the side if you want some in the middle that looks good in the middle too if you want that's what it would look like. Just a little bit though. Like that. And if you wanted, you could also add some fluffs on the ear or fluffs on the top of the head. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to this in just a sec here, but if you don't want to add pink in here in a little bit, maybe this color would be good too. Or brown. Let's try brown. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna grab a little brown, see what that does. So a little bit of brown would be like that. That's kind of cool. The little hairs. Maybe instead of the pink. We could do brown on the top. We're gonna do pink here in a sec. Okay, so now for that pink that I was talking about. 
Um, I'm going to add a little bit of pink on the top here and then on the little um, floofs on the ears on the back part of the ears like here um, just on those spots but if you want to do that with brown or that reddish brown that will totally work same brush washed it off dried it off a little bit of pink by itself a little bit of pink by itself and then on the little outsides of the ears I'm just gonna add a few just like we did the white. And notice I'm just going like right at the bottoms of the ears. Don't have to take it all the way up. I'm gonna let it trail off. So I just have on all the bottoms of the ears. Mostly like that. It's kind of like coming out of the inside of the ear maybe. And then if you don't have like the browns and reds there, you can a little bit of pink to do kind of that same thing. A little plus on the top. Like little plus. Okay, guys, we can towards the last things here. So all we need now are our eyelashes and our mouth. So um, let's do the mouth first. I'm gonna go to my little mouth over here. Same brush, same small brush. I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint. Remember the twirly trick? So kind of like twirl and drag, twirl and drag, and that kind of sharpens your brush a bit more. Gets you a little point on that end there for those round brushes. So I'm gonna slowly trace, I'm not pressing hard at all on the little mouth there, not at all. And if you get a little wider than you may want, that's okay. You almost have big points. Come here. And then those eyes. Now, um, I'm gonna add eyelashes on mine in just a sec here, but if you don't want yours as a lashy, don't have to. We can just fill in this shape and we're cool. So you can just fill in that shape and then done. But I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks. If you want lashes, so if you don't want lashes, we'll just fill in that shape and we're cool. We got we got some eyes. That's good. Fill in those guys. Now, but if you want lashes, here's how. We're gonna wash off that brush. We're gonna dry it off. And I'm gonna get a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna get a little bit of purple right here. Twirling that brush so it gets a little pointier. And this, this lash right here is our first lash. That lash right there is going to be our longest lash. And then they're going to get a little shorter as we get towards the inside of the eye. So let's start on the outside. I'm going to take that brush. I'm going to follow this, this edge of the eye and I'm going to go out. And what I want to happen is it to kind of grab a little of the black paint as I go along. Shoop, and then it makes it a little darker. Shoop, little bits, leave a little space, kind of fluffing them out. Start small and then you can kind of grow it a little bit bigger. If you need a little bit more black, you can, you can grab some. Or if you need a little bit more purple, you can grab some. Whatever you'd like. And do the same on this side. I think I have to do it right here. Last biggest lash first. Again. And then shorter as I get a little closer. Longest at the side. Shorter. I get a little closer. And lawns have a very long, luxurious lashes, so if it gets a little bigger, uh, that's okay. It's very glamorous. It's very glamorous llama. There we are. So, as far as our example goes, those are 
all of our little steps. However, if you want to add anything else, um, other little touches that you could add that kind of look nice on this one, um, you can add a little shine on the nose, tiny bit of white or tiny bit of maybe like a light brown if you don't want it too bright. Top of the nose, add a little sweep, kind of gives it a nice little like, roundness. And these are totally optional. And then if you did some um, light grass for a nighttime sky, maybe we can add some dark grass if it's a little hard to see. You can even use that small brush if you have it. I like a little bit more texture. Might be nice. Whatever you like. You can do a little necklace. You can do a little tie. Not a real thing. Maybe I'll show you both. Let's see. We could do a little necklace. Um, maybe that candle makes a nice dot. We could do a little bit of pink or purple. Press wiggle lift. And give it a little choker because she's that long and luxurious neck. Leaving a little space in the tape. Press wiggle. couple on the end so it looks like it's going around the neck. See that? You could put like a little special something in the middle. Or we could do like a bow or a bow tie would be cute if it's a boy llama. Maybe a bow tie? That sounds cute. Let's do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of black. You could do a circle for the center. And then two triangles on the side. Triangle on the side. Fill it in. Fill it in. Little line to attach it to the neck. Let it dry for a little bit. And then you can add a little shroop shroop highlight. Shroop shroop. Little C. C shape give it a little bit more texture. So feel free to decorate them. Now that we can see their personalities peeking through, maybe we can find a good name for them too. Speaking of names, we need a little artist signature over here in the corner. So whenever you're all done with all of your beautiful little details, biggest detail, you need to sign it. I always like to put my initials, um, but if you have a sharpie you can do your whole name um it's a little easier to do shorter things with the paint i'm gonna do my little initial you can put the year wah in the grass whatever you like so thank you again so much for joining us and painting all together today these are so cute and we need to find a really good spot for them up on the wall. Thanks guys, bye!